Hey yo, it's Brian here today talking about the San Francisco 49ers as always looking at the players that are new whether from the draft, free agency, or in a trade. These players I believe will make an instant contribution to this team come 2020. Is there going to be a football season? I believe so. I think so. The NFL has a couple of months to think about what they're going to do. Anything can happen with this whole outbreak right now in the next couple of months. Too early to tell but I believe there will be an NFL season come 2020. So there's my high hopes right there. And NFL schedule, as you all know, yesterday they are going to release it May 9th on time for the most part. NFL looking like they're not going to delay anything. They'll keep it the way it is. We'll see what that leads us to. Anyways, going to get the video started. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Today is a Thursday. Getting very close to the weekend. Hopefully the stay-at-home orders for everything can end really soon for everybody to go out and enjoy their lives as much as possible. That's all we're hoping for is just to get back to our normal lives. Anyways, going to get the video started. But before I do, as always, please like and subscribe. That's going to help me out a lot. Click that bell notification to get notified of future videos share this channel share this content with fellow niner faithfuls let's get this started 49ers new players that i believe will make an instant contribution to 2020 all right new players for the 49ers whether it's free agency the draft or in a trade first let's talk about trent williams from the ladder he's going to make an instant impact for the 49ers he's an all pro pro bowl tackle as you all know he didn't play at all in 2019 so coming into 2020 he's going to be completely healthy for the most part unless he has some underlying injury thing that we don't know about joe staley is not with us in san francisco so expectations is pretty high for williams i believe he's going to live up to the hype live up to the expectations in the trade that we got from him in washington he is going to be rejuvenated excited to play for the 49ers because one he played for kyle shanahan before a lot familiarity with the system too he's going to a very good team in the 49ers Super Bowl that just came off that big game last year a couple months ago when you have a team that is playing for a Super Bowl that is going to get you going that is going to get you excited to play some football because I mean as you all know when you play for Washington for the past decade or two now it's a pretty much dead zone over there and even Mike and Kyle know in their time in Washington as the head coach slash offensive coordinator early 2010s Williams I believe he's going to be an instant contribution just hope that he doesn't punch Richard Sherman at all I heard they buried the hatchet earlier this offseason but hey we don't want that another incident like that right instant impact replacing joe staley really well keeping that offensive line really safe jimmy garoppolo the running game wide receivers they should all benefit from his contributions instantly as a pro bowl guy number two i believe two wide receivers are going to be making it as instant contribution for the 49ers number one as you all know brandon Ayuk, first rounder they have a lot of expectations for him they're very high on him they traded up to get this guy in their first place accordingly the rumors that were picking Ayuk in the 25th overall to trade up was because the Packers were thinking about picking him so they wanted to trade up and beat them to the punch they did the Packers ended up trading up to get Jordan Love which was crazy but whatever Ayuk I think he's gonna be an instant impact for the 49ers when you have a yards after the catch guy when you have a guy that can play special teams when you have a guy that can have good game speed I think that's a recipe for success he does have a lot of expectations coming into the season not just because he got drafted high but because we don't have a lot of receivers the only credible guy that we have full-time is Debo Samuel other than that uh, not really to work on for the 49ers we do have Travis Benjamin I keep forgetting to mention this guy for us in San Francisco but he's just been injury riddled for the past couple of years in San Diego so I didn't really mention him too much but hopefully his veteran presence does give an instant impact for the 49ers Ayuk I believe he's going to be leaned heavy upon for Jimmy G to have a nice wide out target I think he's going to do really well another guy to look forward to is Jawan Jennings from Tennessee seventh round pick I think he's going to be a great target as well there's a statistic on pro football focus of all places I'm not a big fan of pro football focus but I thought this was pretty interesting the stat that Jennings had the most missed tackles from a defender out of anybody in the whole college football year. He even beat C.D. Lamb and Justin Jefferson, both from Oklahoma and LSU, respectively. So anybody that is trying to get this guy, they are going to miss him big time if you're a defender. That's a really good way to evade players. That's a good way to be able to get some more yards. I think Jennings, he could be a dark horse guy. A lot of you guys in the comments below were very big fans of his. I saw a little bit of tape of him. It looks pretty good, but I'd be surprised if he contributes definitely. Probably not because Kyle Shanahan, he should know how to use receivers. He used to be a receiver himself at Texas a long time ago. I know, right? History time. Jennings, I hope he makes a contribution instantly for the 49ers. He does have some competition going on with other players like Dante Pettis and Richie James, other guys that are outside looking in for this roster. But, you know, if he can contribute well in training camp, if there is a training camp, then he's going to do really well in 2020s. Two receivers. You got to have big impact guys, and hopefully they are the men to do it for 2020 and have Jimmy G, that nice cushion for great receivers. Lastly, in my opinion, the guy that I believe is going to make the biggest impact for the 49ers is Javon Kinlaw, defensive tackle. Big risk just because they got rid of DeForest Buckner. They got a trade. 
they didn't want to pay him all that money next year so they ended up going with a younger guy that's a lot cheaper next couple of years three to four years of a rookie contract a little bit of a big risk but at the same time when you have a great defensive line a great supporting cast it's not really a risk at all because I mean when you have other guys to lean forward to like Eric Armstead Nick Bosa D4 your coaches Kinlaw's going to do really well in San Francisco he said he wanted to get drafted by the 49ers well he's getting drafted by the 49ers Derek Brown from Auburn he's going to the Carolina Panthers he has a lot of work to go on for the Panthers because they're a terrible defense for the most part and especially Keekly being gone Kinlaw on the other hand he got drafted in the middle of the first round but he's going to a very good team one of the best defensive lines in the NFL if not the best the way John Lynch is approaching his drafts for the past couple of years he is looking to get steel curtain defense from the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 1970s because that defensive line led by Joe Green and LC Greenwood man that was just an awesome defensive line I think the 49ers are trying to replicate that some way shape or form it's a little bit difficult now with the salary cap era but the way he's building upon the draft he's doing a Chuck Knoll type draft where he's just drafting defensive linemen almost every year and just building that line to make sure we win the Super Bowl with that defensive line and it starts there and ends there pretty much for us with the 49ers he's going to be a great contribution for the 49ers instantly will he be a defensive rookie of the year probably not we might have somebody else do that but at the same time I mean he doesn't really need to do as much he doesn't need to be the heavy loader guy he just needs to have a guy to give extra pressure to Bosa and company on the defensive line also his motor a lot of people are very high on him in his motor I think that's a big contribution factor for him to do really well for us in San Francisco. I'm really high on him. A lot of you guys are very high on him. 99% of you guys were a big fan of his. Personally, I think this is the best guy that's going to be great for us as a new player for us in San Francisco. Not just as a rookie, but just a new player for the 49ers. That's it, guys. Please let me know what you guys think about new players for the 49ers. I like to what you guys to say in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. That's going to help me out a lot. I'll be catching you guys up tomorrow on a Friday. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Go Niners all day. Hot boys.